So today people are newcomers to my channel. I bring you 8 secrets from the world of Cyberpunk 2077. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more Cyberpunk be sure to subscribe. Now this video is made for newcomers and day one players. As we know Christmas is here so this game will indeed see plenty of new players come aboard. Now the 8 things within this video consist of a variety of things. Yes this game has a ton of secrets but I wanted to drop a variety for you so hopefully there's something new for you to see here. So let's get into it guys and firstly Meredith Stout's death. So this character plays a pretty big role in the early stages of the game just depending on which dialogue options you pick. I won't ruin it for you but the basics there is a power struggle at Militech between Stout and Gilchrist. Again two characters you will come across early on if you choose to. Now the outcome between the two and who gets that power lies in your hands. If that's Meredith Stout, you can go on to interact in a sex scene with her. If things don't go her way, well guys, she can be found at the bottom of a river. Where this has only recently been found and it's quite gruesome to think about especially when I opted for that sex scene. So if you want to see this for yourself, go to the location on screen now. But this is pretty gruesome guys. Okay, so next stop. We know this game has some amazing cars. Some more so unique than others. And well today guys we check out an awesome fully gold car. Now this car is rewarded to you for taking part in a beat on the bright side quest. Which you can see located on screen now. This dude is trying to earn money for his family and his pregnant wife. By wagering his car up against 4k edits. Beat him and you get the car. But this doesn't end there. Within the dialogue options after this fight, if you opt for him to keep the money you just want the car, this guy then has an effect on the end of the game and will also message you later on with a picture of his newborn baby. So that's pretty cool too. Okay so moving on and the first secret we mentioned here with Meredith Stout. So if you take the route where she gets into power you can trigger a sex scene which I've already covered on my channel if you do want to check it out. After this sex scene is triggered you get the chance to land yourself one of the most unique and bizarre weapons in this game. On the bed this scene takes place, if you take a look there is a sex toy weapon. Now for obvious reasons I can't show it here but it's pretty crazy and hilarious at the same time and definitely one for that collection people. Ok so next up and moving on we have Adam Smash's secret room. This one's pretty epic. So later on in the story you will automatically unlock a side mission called Chipping In and within this mission you will come across this secret room but unfortunately here you can't open the door. But within this room behold Smash's very own gear which you can't wear, that would be amazing, but you can get a blueprint to one of the best weapons in this game. The blueprint is for a 8 barreled legendary smart shotgun, the Barshing Chong. So how do you get within here people? Well guys you have to complete the entire story and get that prologue ending. Then come back here as you can see on the map now and you'll be free to enter this room and get that amazing blueprint. So have fun with it people. Ok so moving on and this particular item here is responsible for making thousands and thousands of players Night City Millionaires. So there's a secret mission which only unlocks upon you going near its location as seen on the screen now. The mission is called Space Oddity where it eventually leads to you being able to grab a painting. What's crazy about this guys is the painting you can sell to anyone with any source of money, best places like drop points, and you can sell this thing for 4k edits. Then you can buy this thing back for just 5 edits. This means you can repeat the process of literally getting unlimited amounts of money. Now I have uploaded a method in which you can do this 5 times quicker, again that will be linked on my channel if you do want to check it out. But yeah people this is how you get that painting which you've probably heard people speak about if you're new to this game. It comes from a secret side mission called Space Oddity. Ok so next up guys and well do you want to own your own pet within your apartment? Well you can actually grab yourself a little kitty and it's super easy to do. Now there are a few guides in how this is done but it is pretty straightforward. So on your map you need to head to this location you can see on the screen now. Here you will find that cat food. Trouble. 
Once this is obtained, you need to head back to your first apartment. Here, just outside to the left around the corner, you will see a shard called Feed the Cat. I've already picked it up, but down to its right, you'll see it says Place Cat Food. So do that. Then go back into your room and go to sleep. Once you wake up, the cat will be there where you left that food. And you can simply pick the cat up. And from here guys, the cat will be present in your apartment. Pretty cool, I know. Okay, so the last two spots on this list are vehicles, two free vehicles, which are arguably the best of what they are in the game, and both you can literally go straight to and pick up through a charge. So firstly the bike, this another version of the Arch Nazar motorbike, and this one labelled It's Made. Now this is the end of a side mission reward from the Highway Man. But guys, you actually don't have to do the mission to get this bike. You can actually just go to the lockup where it's stored, enter the code and take the bike. So on screen now is where this bike is located. Once here, simply enter the code of 0214. The locker opens up and you can simply jump on this bike and ride away. Now I will state, this is bugged for some people, as it was for me. For some reason, the mission for this bike isn't there for me, which is called the Highway Man. This side mission supposedly opens up after you complete the prologue mission to ride. If it isn't here for you, it seems you might not be able to retrieve this bike also. But for most people, they can. Thanks to my pal Mighty Life Crisis for the footage, his channel can be found linked below. As you can see, he enters the code, grabs the bike and drives away. Unfortunately for me and a select few, this can't be done. Okay, so lastly guys, we have the fastest car in the game in the Rayfield Caliburn. So this Bugatti wannabe is probably the easiest to get from this list as it's just as simple as entering a cave, jumping into it and driving away. Now I will mention like the bike, this seems to be a little buggy as well. And I experienced this first hand as when I first went to get this car, it wasn't there. I ran up and down the cave system and all of a sudden it appeared. So there's definitely something not right about this and it could just be me. It could be on a timer that I ain't sure of as I picked up really early on so I couldn't do any testing here. But for sure guys, you want the fastest car in the game? This is where it's located. Go and get this thing. And there we have it guys, 8 secrets from the world of Cyberpunk 2077. And if you guys enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.